Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video going over every build that you need for patch 10.1.5 for Mistweaver for PvP and PvE. This is going to include everything. The imports are in the description below. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. Before we get into the talents, I just want to go over very quickly what has changed. The first thing is we got two new talents. We got the Yulon's Grace talent, which makes it so every two seconds in combat, you get a shield for 2% of your max health, stacking up to 10%. So this is a very passive shield. It's very, very nice if you want to pre-absorb some damage. Really good. You do have to trade Diffuse Magic for it, though. Um, and then you got a second talent called Dance of the Wind that increases your dodge chance by 10%. That is also on a choice node with Damp and Harm. In addition to this, on the Mistweaver tree, uh, Font of Life got a little bit of a rework. Not a rework, but a little bit of a, a change. Your Essence Font Initial Heal is increased by 25% as a chance to reduce the cooldown of Thunder Focus T by one second. So a little bit of a change there, which is pretty good and pretty helpful if you use Essence Font and PV PVE, obviously, which you do. And those are the changes pretty much to the talents. Nothing else. We got a little bit of a damage buff in PVE. No damage buff for PVP. But there was an Ancient Teachings buff in PvP that kind of counteracts the, the nerf that did the PvE. So essentially, those are the ch major changes happening to Mistweavers. Not many changes, but there are some slight differences in our talent builds. Starting with 3v3 Arena, I use Verse Mastery in 2s and 3s, normal 2s and 3s. And this is the build I run every single time. There isn't much I change. You will notice that I do drop Diffuse Magic for the Yulon's Grace. I think it's really good in 3s because it doesn't start in Dampening, which I like a lot. Uh, even versus casters is pretty solid. If you're playing against a Shadow Priest, maybe Ellie Shaman or Affliction Warlock, I'd probably go Diffuse Magic. But versus everything else, I've been enjoying Yulon's Grace a lot. The other change you're going to want to make is obviously Revival versus Shadow Priest, Ellie Shaman, Affliction Warlocks because you want that magic to spell. And that is pretty much it. I don't change anything else outside of those two talents since 10.1.5 dropped. And overall, I think this build is very, very good. Next up, we got some Solo Shuffle. Solo Shuffle is a very popular bracket. Again, it's very similar to my Arena build. I do use Haste Verse in Solo Shuffle as opposed to Verse Mastery. And I don't use Yulon's Grace. I do use Diffuse Magic because I think damage reduction is much more important. Uh, solo Shuffle, you start in higher dampening. It ramps up faster. So the healing from Yulon's Grace is is non-existent essentially so i really like diffuse magic and solo shuffle there is one flex talent here with grace of the crane you could drop this and put this pretty much anywhere you want you could go for short fort brew but it's just useless because matches don't go longer than four minutes so there's no point in really having a shorter fort brew so normally i just put that point there you could put it in chi wave if you wanted to but i kind of just like to put it in grace of the crane even though most teams don't really target me you can even put it in rising sun kick damage for a little more rising sun kick on the mistweaver side Again, nothing changes. You're going to go to the bottom right corner. I really, really like Shailun's Gift and Shuffle, especially when paired with Precog because you get the guaranteed healing. The buffs are also really good. You're going to be changing your Restoral and Revival based on what you're queuing into versus Dot Teams. You're going to be playing Normal Revival versus pretty much everything else you're playing Restoral. And that's pretty much it for my Solo Shuffle build. Again, very strong, very powerful build, mostly based around your Haste Verse and getting a lot of value out of your Haste with the buffs that you get. Of course, we have Fist Weaving. It is still good in twos, threes, and shuffle i've actually been playing in rbgs and it's really good in rbgs somehow and this is the build i run the only difference that you can make again this build is is pretty solid there's really not much wiggle room for it uh the one thing is yulon's grace is very good this talent right here between damp harm and dance of the wind i really like dance of the wind into melee teams uh because the dodge chance is kind of nice but it, it i feel like damp and harm is still better i do need to do a little more testing but i think damp and harm is better than the the uh the other talent there dance of the wind on the Mistweaver side, there is one change you can do. Completely a personal preference. Both builds have been able to get pushed pretty high, and that is dropping Misty Peaks and going for Shailun's Gift with Legacy of Wisdom. Personally, I don't like to play Shailun's Gift while Fist Weaving. Essentially, your goal is to pour it use Shailun's Gift to get the buff and then port back and then you're in the fight. You hopefully get a pretty good buff. Maybe it's crit, maybe it's damage reduction. You know, one of those is really good. Personally, I don't like that. I would rather go Misty Peaks and go for Rising Mist. Both builds, very solid. Both work in PvP. Both are really good. It just depends on what you want to do and how you like your play style to be. But personally, I just kind of go with Misty Peaks into Rising Mist. 
RBGs, of course, I do use Haste Verse for RBGs. And on the left hand side, I don't change anything. I really like Yulon's Grace a lot in RBGs. I think it gets a lot of value, especially since there's a lot of consistent spread damage. You're always going to have a shield going, which is really, really nice. Damage Arm is also important. Then you're going to get your statue, and everything else pretty much stays the same for Mistweaver. On the right hand side, it's a little bit different, but I do enjoy going with going straight for Invoker's Delight and Many Proliferation, and also getting Tier of Mourning because you're going to have a lot of. You know, a lot of renewing mist out, and you're going to be spamming Vivify a lot. The one flex talent, you can drop Mending Proliferation if you want. Don't really know where you'd put it. You can maybe put it in Resplendent Mist, but you are using Haste Verse, so I kind of just go with Mending Proliferation. That's what I've kind of been preferring lately, and I like it a lot. Um, you're going to pair that with Manatee and just get a lot of healing whenever you have your Celestial up, which should be every minute. And that's pretty much RBGs. You do a lot of healing. You do a lot of healing. Stack Haste Verse. You're going to get the big, big Haste buff from Invoker's Light when you have your Celestial up. And your Hots going to be ticking like crazy. Very good build. You pretty much never get out healed in RBGs. Of course, we have PvE here. So this is my Fist Weaving PvE setup. So on the left-hand side, there really isn't much crazy. You're going to just go down the center of the Talent Tree. Try to get your Resonant Fists. And that's pretty much it. There really isn't much wiggle room. I guess I have the tiger could be swapped, but there isn't much place to put it. You could put it into a second save them all if you wanted to. It's really awkward to try to get to fortifying brew though, because you have to either go into disable or reduce cooldown paralysis, which doesn't get much value. So you could either put it into a second save them all. I the tiger actually might prefer it there as well. And that's pretty much it for the left hand side. On the right hand side, you're fist weaving most of the time. So you're going to be going down the middle of the tree, going to get your Zen Pulse as well as Echoing Reverberation. You could opt to maybe drop this talent. There aren't many good places to put it, so I tend to just keep it there. You're going to get, pick up your Ancient Teachings and your uh, Feyland Stomp. And on the right-hand side, you're going to be going for Shailun's Gift with Legacy of the Wisdom and your Rising Mist. Again, very good talents, very powerful talents in PvE. And that's kind of what I've been running. It's very strong. You're going to do a lot of damage on AoE pulls as well. So this is what I would recommend. For your fist weaving in Mythic Plus, I'm a big fan of this. There, you're going to be running normal revival 100% of the time because why not? You need spell for magic, poison, and disease effects. And yeah, that's pretty much what I've been running. If you don't want to fist weave in Mythic Plus, which sometimes I'm kind of not in the mood to fist weave in Mythic Plus, you can use this build. Now, this is this is a cooked up build right here that I kind of put together. It's like a Frankenstein of just all the builds I've used into one on the left hand side pretty standard you're going to be running diffuse magic damage and harm just good in pve because damage reductions are really important one flex point here is grace the crane you can kind of put this wherever you want i like it in grace the crane you could put it in escape from reality or strength of spirit they're all fine but i like having the extra point in grace of the crane for the extra healing uh, on the right hand side it, it gets a little weird but I, I, it, it works it's really good so you're pretty much going to go down the right hand side pick up Shailun's gift your manatee and then I go haste verse as well so you're going to get dancing mist and misty peaks you could probably drop dancing mist and for this build specifically if anyone has a non fist weaver like a casting mythic plus build feel free to link it would love to know what you guys are running and then the one flex talent is the secret infusion you can kind of put this where wherever you want i don't know you could probably i zen pulse is probably a good place to put it um maybe drop i maybe drop like one point in overflowing mist and go echoing for reverberation but that's pretty much what i've been running maybe even resplendent mist here but that's what i've been running i've timed 22s now using this exact build i've, I've timed 22s so I mean, it's a pretty solid build. A lot of healing. It's a lot of healing. So this is what I've been running for cast in Mythic Plus. And it's pretty good so far. Finally, this is the rating build that I've been running. It's very good. I go haste verse and it's a mixture of casting and doing damage. Um, you're going to go for damage talents on the left hand side with fast feet to get more rising sun kick damage. And you're going to go down, get your statue, get your resonant fist and all that. But at the same time, you want to be doing damage uh, on the right hand side. You are going to be using your tiger palms for blackout kicks. So you get value out of spear of the crane. You are going to be running cloud of focus. But what you're mainly trying to do is get rising sun kicks out so you can get out as many uh, rising sun kicks so you can get more renewing mists out so you get value out of your rapid diffusion and then you're, just, you're gonna be running rising mists as well to extend those hots and then you're gonna just be spamming vivify that, that that's what i've been running a very good build very powerful if you can if you have enough haste which is roughly around 30 32 percent and you're able to get a bunch of renewing mists out and you're able to spam vivifies so you're gonna be doing a lot of healing so i highly recommend this build that is pretty much it for all of the builds if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy 
to try any builds out, to anything at all, answer any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to answer. And that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you're enjoying 10.1.5. And I'll see you later.